Hello everyone, I'm Ken, and today we're diving into the top Death Knight class cards from the upcoming Whizbangs Workshop expansion. But before we jump into it, let me give you a quick rundown of how I'll be evaluating these cards. I'll be using four key criteria. Impact, versatility, cost efficiency, and synergy. These criteria help provide a quantitative measurement of each card's value, ensuring a comprehensive assessment. Now, let's get into it. Starting off with the Headless Horseman, this legendary hero card brings some intriguing flavor to the table. However, its impact seems to be relatively average, especially considering its high mana cost. While its hero power can generate significant value over time, the card's limited deck building options and somewhat situational effect hold it back from Woo! higher ratings. Next up, we have Rambunctious Stuffy, a minion that packs a punch with its rush ability and aggressive stat distribution. While its Frost Rune requirement may limit its flexibility, pairing it with a cheap Frost spell can significantly enhance its effectiveness, making Woo! it a solid choice for aggressive Death Knight decks. Moving on to Dr. Stitch and Sew, this legendary minion offers tremendous value with its powerful Death Rattle effect. With no rune requirements, it fits seamlessly into any Death Knight deck. Despite its relatively low stat distribution for a 6-drop, its potential for generating value over time Woo! makes it a worthy inclusion in most decks. The shambling zombie tank may seem unassuming at first glance, but its ability to copy itself through corpse generation, coupled with growing hand buff support in the expansion, makes it a force to be reckoned with. Look for this card to become a staple in hand buff Death wow. Knight decks. And finally, we have Rainbow Seamstress, an epic minion that lives up to its name. With no rune requirement and benefits tied to playing different runes, this card offers unparalleled flexibility and value. Whether you're playing a Rainbow Archetype or any other Death Knight deck, wow. Rainbow Seamstress shines as a reliable craft. To wrap things up, these top Death Knight cards showcase the potential for exciting new archetypes and strategies in the upcoming expansion. While some cards may have niche applications, others like Rainbow Seamstress offer versatility and value across various deck types. What do you think of our top picks? Are there any other Death Knight cards you think deserve a spot? Let us know.